We are off to the Sandals restaurant for the a la carte night. Well, our a la carte night. These, this mosquito bite on my foot is winding me up. But I think I got it last night when we were outside at the barbecue because they do come out when, there's, when it's dusk and there's trees around and bushes. Now there's people still over there at the pool bar. Just having a little drink. The sun's about to set soon. It is 8 p.m. and it's the 12th of May 2023. I think I said it was the 11th earlier. Some children there playing on the game. So I wonder what we can get here because I think it's all fish, but I'm sure they do one small um, meat, meat one, which John will get. I think that might be the Turkish one, which we had to cancel the other night because I was just too full to eat. Q-yup, yeah. Don't know. It's very nice. <laughs> Cauliflower type of thing. Um, I don't even know what that is. It's nice, that. I don't know what it is on the top. You just explain what they were, but you can't really understand. And that's like a hummus, but it's got little like eggs in it. You burst in your mouth. It's quite strange. John's not going to get a sauce. I am doing for the um, the sea sea bass, Granny Smith apple, citrus cream, squid ink crackers. And for my main, I am going to have the. Um, so fish on skewers with marinated in coriander and lime and it has baked cauliflower and John is going to go for the lands of the sea which is beef tenderloin, ju jumbo shrimp, potato, terrine um, and a mushroom sauce with kale and zucchini flowers. I'm sure he won't touch it but I said I'll have a little try that and we'll go somewhere else for John because it's not really his cup of tea this but really nice for now. Okay, so where's my sea bass with... I have no idea. They're like little um, flavoured things with... What you spit out? Very strange. Sean, this is my sea bass starter. And the sea bass is in that crispy thing there. And these little things which you eat. They're like... Um, very strange. It's between a nut and candy floss, I'd say. Right, guys, what are these little egg things on here? You used to close in your mouth when you were on. The one over there. Answers, please. So, here is my swordfish, and that is John's. What was it called? Something of the sea? It's the wonders of the sea, is it? Yep. Looks lovely, but John's not going to touch it. So I've got to try and eat the two. Sandals evening restaurant done. And what would I say about it? Uh, my least favourite. I think I actually prefer the barbecue last night to that. So now, I mean, it's the first time I've tried swordfish, swordfish, which was unbelievably like chicken. It was okay. John's steak and shrimp, I tried that because John didn't touch a thing in there, he said no way, <laughs> he's eating any of it, he's so fussy. Um, so I had a piece of John's steak, which was 
Mm. Nothing special. And the shrimp was very, very fishy. It's a bit too seafoody, even for me. Um, service, not amazing. So yeah, if I came back here, I definitely would not go back to sandals at night. But that's just us, because other people absolutely love it. And if you're into fish, there's a lot of fish options. I do like fish, but I'm not a massive, massive fish person. So now we are going to the all day a la carte. So John can have something to eat because he's had nothing at all since he had a little bit of quesadillas, whatever they're called, at lunchtime. So I'm just going to go and sit with John now and I'm sure he'll find something nice in there because it is really, really nice and you don't have to boot this one. You just turn up and sit down and you make your food. I will probably go and have a little look in the main restaurant to show you around of what it was on offer on Friday night at Lara Brut Collection. Here we are, Friday night in the main restaurant, Beef Tongue and um, lamb, roasted lamb chops my mum will be made up. And this is salmon baked in salt. No one's even touched that. Your classic bolognese, which is always in this area. Creamy pasta with vegetables. Pasta with salsa. So they've got more desserts over here. Usually there's fruit here. around the dessert choice. There we are, we've got the fruit out over here, that's why. Wow. Beautiful. And then you've got your bakery and grill over there. Which I'm not going to go down today because it's basically the same all the time down there. Very sweet orientated tonight. All your cheeses over there. Your smoked fish as usual. And now let's see what we've got on the chef's table tonight. Sea bass. Hello. So yeah, it's quite a fishy night again, isn't it? The soup. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye bye. Bye. This is the Lagoon area apartment. Um, there's a room either side, that's why. It's about 20, 25 minutes. <laughs> Just on our way out of Sandals, and the guys got shouted, Do we need to go anywhere? So I'm going to get on here and go to the cat house and see what it's like. Hello, good Hello. Oh, 
Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you. Off we go to the cat house. He was lovely, wasn't he? Yeah. I'm sure it'll get boring after a few weeks. Yeah. Oh, so here we are, the cat house. Here is the cat house. Oh. <laughs> that looks good. Wow, there's so many. The cats living their best life. If you like cats, it's definitely worth visiting the cat house. If you don't like cats, don't go, because it is a bit stinky. But they look like they're having the best life there. It's nice, it's, it's a nice little spot that you do. Oh, so the cat house is just as you come in the barriers for the main entrance and then you walk up here to get into reception. Like I said, that's the villas there, which are stunning. Ah, okay, so I thought that was a new hotel that they put on, but it's not, that must be the name of the villas. Are you? Um, 
a beautiful way it is today and the breeze is amazing so yeah we went to the cat house we've had our lunch in sandals i think we'll leave there for now um, it's my least favorite place we've tried it twice now for lunch the cucidellas whatever they're called i'm terrible at announcing things um john said they're really nice um but the pasta i had if you just like a plain creamy mushroom pasta that's what it was for me it needed some more flavor it was very very plain like something lemony or peppery in it uh, but it was okay but there's nicer places i think to try and then we went over to the cat house and when we come back i said to john we'll see how much it is for a shave in the hairdressers and the guy said 20 euros so john's just had a clean shave and said it was amazing they put what did they do they done all oils and creams burnt, burnt hairs in his ears <laughs> yeah but yeah he, he can recommend that and like i say i've had my nails done there and the girl was amazing she took so much time definitely recommend it yeah, there's two brave people doing the, the aqua swim, aqua swim aerobics, or aqua aerobics. It's actually people in the pool today, because it is warm. So we're back down the beach, it's about four o'clock now. I've left a few bits down there. our favourite little evening bar before we go to dinner. It's outside now, you can see the mountains over there. It's lovely. The artwork again. Beautiful. K bar, this is called C A Y. Got your little library there, and there's different languages. So there's Dutch, English, I don't know what that one is, and others. I'll just walk around, show you that some of the artwork. The floors are that clean. Over there, 
Meaty stew, butter, rice, beans, and that. Actually, like a little fritter. This is a fritter. Sauce of passion fruit jelly dessert. As always, you've got your vegan options over there, which is great too. Oh, look at these little chocolate things. They were in the uh, patisserie today. That's like a banana cake. That looks like an Oreo cake. Cheesecakes. That is a forest fruit sliced cake. John says the soup was really, really nice. He really enjoyed it. And my little crony thing, shrimp. Yeah, it was nice. It was lovely. The little sauce that's not the side and stuff's lovely. And the, the little white bits were like a creamy cheese. I wasn't fussed on that, but I'm glad I tried it. And now on to the main course. I've ordered the salmon and I've asked for it to be well done. And John's gone for the steak. What's it called? Shot, shot something steak and he's asked for it as well done of course so which he had last week and it was stunning we'll be in for a treat when you see john's because it's amazing how to bring it out isn't it and cut it wait till you see this it should be out any minute now it looks like that's it over there guys it's coming over yeah it's john's steak here we go <laughs> Well done, Salmon. Thank you. Special. Thank you. 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 Thank 
this garlic. Mm. Potatoes. Mm. And onion. Thank you. Would you like some more garlic? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Very well done. Shot of young steak. Empties out a little bit now, isn't it? So my salmon was okay, nowhere near as nice as the sea bass which I had last week. John had the steak again, which he said was really nice, but I'm not happy with the service in here tonight. We've been left really. We've just had to ask for another drink. Um, we had to ask for the dessert menu. Uh, I have ordered the souffle and they've said 20 minutes and John has ordered, what was yours, like a cream, what's it called John? Yours? Milk cream. Milk cream. So we'll see what it's like but the service tonight definitely has not been as good as last week. It has been busier tonight but still, at a fine dining restaurant you shouldn't be asking for menus or more drinks. This is John's milk cream. Um, with peanuts and something, wasn't it? Looks unusual. And here's my souffle, it smells amazing. Oh it smells so good. There we go, our last visit to Ak Zenzi. Zenzi is it? Mind you, say it was amazing. My, my souffle was outstanding. John's was interested. He said he enjoys it actually. I'm glad he's tried something there. It was like balclava. Was it? Well, he's never tried that. I said that's what it, it was like. I tried a bit of the bottom. Um, one second. I will start again. So, yes, my souffle was amazing. And John's was like a balclava. Balclava, however you say it. Um, with a bit of ice cream and stuff on the top. He said it was okay. The service tonight, like I said, was not great. It was a lot busier. It's emptied out now, but still I feel like we were just left. And even um, from my previous, previous video, I was on five or six nights ago from here, when they were cutting the meat for John, it was completely different. It was like he just chomp 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 where she really took her time the other night but that is our favorite restaurant it's lovely and the steak is amazing and the presentation of the food is also amazing i'm glad we went again because we've done two visits to the italian and the second one we didn't really enjoy um my fish what i had last week the sea bass was way nicer than at the salmon I had tonight. So it's nice and cool outside now. When I say cool in the restaurants, it's like they haven't got air conditioning or I don't know whether they've turned it on just yet because they're absolutely boiling inside. And I like to be cool, but it's nice out here. It's just a lovely temperature temperature to walk around. So we're gonna go and see what's happening. It's about 10 past nine now. The only thing is when you go for these big meals, you just can't carry on drinking because you're too full. It's a stunning hotel though. I would recommend to anyone. That is the main restaurant outside dining, which looks lovely. I can hear some music on over on the outside auditorium. And there's the sushi bar, which we are trying tomorrow. There's two people in there 
but it is half nine now so it's coming to the end just taking how stunning the grounds are it is absolutely stunning <laughs>